building something special today warriors a spellbook app we're going to use prisma to store our spells trpc to create the routes react in xjs with the help of shad cn to create the components and tailwind to style everything we are starting everything from scratch so first thing i'm going to do is to install the latest version of next.js i'm inside of my projects folder and i'm going to run the command create next app so our project is going to be named spellbook and we're going to use typescript eslint we're going to use tailwind we are not using sources directory we're using the app router meaning we don't have pages folder and we are just going to press enter on everything and now our app is being installed so now we can open the code inside our vs code so now we can go to our spellbook directory and run pmpm -pm dev now we have our app up and running on localhost port 3000 so here if i refresh we are going to get our default next.js framework page i'll quickly show you how i imagine this to work so basically what should be able to do is to create the spellbook not only one but multiple so we can create second spellbook third spellbook and each spellbook has its own spells inside so spellbook should have the title the description and bunch of spells inside that spellbook and each spell should have also title description and a little image icon that is going to be displayed here on the spellbook so we can know which spells we have in each spellbook and basically what we need to do is the whole crud so we are going to use prisma to save the spellbooks and spells and we are going to use trpc to get everything from database and everything works asynchronously and like we are in the in the one page app let's go so first thing let's install prisma on our project uh, i'm going to go to the quick start and here we have already everything from here so what we need is to install prisma so i'm going to use the pmpm you can use npm or yarn whatever you prefer so i'm going to do pmpm d for developer and add prisma so prisma is now being installed and we have it now I'm just going to continue with their tutorial. So I'm going to do the initialize command to get the provider and we're going to use SQLite. We don't need anything more than that for this kind of project. And now this command created the folder Prisma inside our project. And here we have our first schema. So we can now continue with the tutorial and we are going to create models for our needs. So I'm going to copy the user, but we are not going to use the, uh, we're going to use the same principle, but we are not going to create users. We need spellbook and we are going to have our title, which we can leave to be unique. We can say description instead of title and we can just let it be like this optional and Posts are going to be spells. So here we are going to call spell that is going to be this model. And here we also, we are going to say title. Also, we are going to use description. We are going to put image also optional. That is going to be just string. I'm just going to put it inside the, all the images inside the public folder. And we're just going to pull it from the local url and here instead of author we are going to call spellbook which is going to be our spellbook model and relation is going through the spellbook id and that is going to reference the id of our spellbook 
we can just continue with the tutorial from Prisma. So now we can call the migration. We migrate everything. And now when that is done, we can see in our folder here that our dev.db is created and we have our migration. So now we can run to test it out npx prisma studio to see how it looks. And here we have two models, spell and spellbook. And inside we can see the structure and everything. And when we start adding data, we can check it here if it is good or not. We have now our database structure ready and we can start implementing the TRPC routes. So I'm not going to implement it entirely from scratch. I already did it in the video. You can check it above. And I'm just going to copy all the files that I already created in that video and put them here inside this project. You can also do the same thing like me here. So I'm going to place the AI framework code here, which is in the public repository. You can check it in the description below. And from here, I'm going to copy all the API routes and everything for TRPC. So we need this folder from the API folder. So here we are going to create API folder and inside I'm going to paste the TRPC route. So here we are basically calling, we are creating the route where we are going to call our TRPC. And next thing I'm going to copy whole server folder where we have the infrastructure for TRPC. That one is going inside the root directory. And here we have TRPC initialization. We have our router where we are placing our routes. We have the client side and we have all the routes. So we don't need this one. This one is pulling from GPT from the OpenAI API. So I'm going to delete this whole thing basically. I can just delete it entirely or like this rename to, we are going to need their spells and we are going to need, so this one can be empty and we are going to need spellbooks.ts. So there we are going to create our CRUD routes, create, update, delete, and get. Next one I'm going to copy is the provider. That one is, I think, in the components features. No, it's maybe in the widgets. Yes, here it is, the provider. So this one, I'm just going to put it here. I'm going to create the components folder. And inside, I'm just going to paste. What? There is no paste. I probably didn't put the copyright. Okay. And here I'm going to paste our provider. So this one should be implemented here. We are missing. Yes, like this. So we are missing these dependencies. We have to install everything for TRPC and for the React query. Let's install everything quickly. So I'm going to go to the TRPC for Next.js setup. And here we have, yeah, here is the pmpm command. I'm just going to run that, uh, not here. This is the, okay, I crashed the Prisma Studio. So everything is now installed. The Zod types, the TRPC client, React query, everything should be now up and working. We can now test it out quickly if it works. So we're going to our spells router and here we are going to export the spells router which is the router from the trpc and there we need to create our routes let's quickly create the get route so that one is going to be a public procedure and it's going to be a query so there we are going to just return something. Let's just return an empty array for now. So now we can test this out 
let me just see if we are putting that one yeah so we need our spells router to put it here and we are going to call it spells so now we have our get route from the spells and we can test it out on our home page off to our home page there we can delete everything that comes by default from Next.js and delete the minimum height screen. Also in the global CSS, delete whole CSS stuff. And now we can test it out and yes. So now everything is blank. Now on our homepage, we are just going to call spells. So we are going to get trpc client spells and then get route and finally use query. And we're going to display it. Let's remove this image. We're going to display it here with json.stringify and then spells.data. So now when we go, we have the context problem. I need to put use client. And now, yes, we forgot to add the provider inside the layout. So here, we should add our provider com components that we injected from the AI framework. And for the provider, we need the app URL. So that one we are going to put inside the environment file. Here it should be what I did. It should be HTTP localhost 3000 and now when we go to our page yes so this one is now coming from our spells router and if i put here something and if i refresh we are getting the data from our get route nice so trpc is working just fine we can now continue on creating our crud methods what we need to do now is I can get back to the quick start for Prisma and here we need this part. So I'm going to go to the Spellbooks router and import that one there and in the spells also. So here this one is going to be Spellbooks router. And we also need get. So here now we are going to put the get command by Prisma, the ORM, to get all spellbooks from our database. This one is going to be the simplest. So first here we are going to put a sync so we can wait for our database. Then for all the spellbooks, spellbooks like this, we are going to call prisma.spellbook. So we have a model already here and we just call find many. And this one is going to return us all spellbooks from our database. So we can just put here return. We don't know, even need to create the, the variable. So now for create, that one is going to be a little bit different. We are going to call procedure as well but here we are going to call mutation and before mutation we are going to need input for that mutation so here we are putting the z from from zod is it there yeah object and inside that object we are going to put what we had there title which is zod type string zod string is it like this Yes, and we need description, which is also string. Mutation is also going to be an async function. And there we are passing our opts, which are these title and description. And inside we are going to destructure it and call input from our opts and then we are going to call prisma.spellbook.create and 
inside we are just going to call data and there put title that is going to be input.title and description not describe description which is going to be input dot description so this one is going to create the spellbook inside our database delete is going to be the same thing like create it is going to be a mutation except so we are going to call it this delete here we are going to send the id which is going to be type of number and here we are just calling delete and here instead of data we are calling where and then putting where id equals input dot id and this one is going to delete the spellbook from our database i'm now quickly going to copy all these methods and put it inside the spells so we can do the same thing except instead of the spellbook we are going to do it for spell and here we have also the image and here we are also going to add the image and we need the zod and what is it complaining here title description image is not assignable why it's not assignable okay so here we also need the spellbook id so spellbook id is going to be number and spellbook id okay now it's not complaining so we are going to each spell has to have its own spellbook it needs to be assigned to some spellbook and now we have our create delete and get for spells also I'm not going to create update now, but it's basically the same as create. We are just sending the objects and based on our ID, we are just going to update that, but I'm not going to do it for the spellbook. We are just going to create, delete and display it. Let's now see how are we going to display everything on the front end. So what I thought is to create it like this, like spellbook. It's standing there and then uh, on this side if we don't have the second one we can have the big card also with the plus and then we can add the new spellbook there we can bring up some pop over and then when we click on the spellbook we are going to go to the new page where we are going to see all the spells from our spellbook that we clicked so let's let's start by implementing shed cn so I'm going to go to installation for the Next.js and I'm going to run the Shetsian latest like this. And let's just pick default. Let's pick, I don't know, maybe Tink. We are going to use CSS variables for colors. And success. Everything installed. Nice. So now we can get the components. We can pick here. There is a card, I think. Yeah, this one, this one can be our spellbook. So let's install the card component. Also, we are going to need the button. Where is the button? Here it is. And we are going to need that popover. Let's see how that popover looks. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Uh, no, I didn't mention that one. Maybe um, dialogue. Is it dialogue? Yes, this one. Let's use this one for creating new spell books and spells. And that should be enough for now. Let's build something on the front end. Let's see how is this card being implemented. So this one, we're just going to copy it, this part. And here on our page, okay, let's remove the use client from our page. We can create a new component. We can call it uh, spellbook. And there, spellbook.tsx. I'm going to use the snippets to create the 
spellbook component and inside I'm going to paste this stuff from ShadCN that I copied. So that's the card and I'm going to call each card component that is needed. I don't know if it's quicker to copy like this or to press on each component and then wait for the... It doesn't matter. Okay, that's it. Now on our page here, remove TRPC. We're going to need it here in the spellbook and this one also. And here, instead of this JSON stringify, I'm going to put spellbook component. And now when we go to our local host, we need use client. And now when we go to our page, we are getting the card. Nice. So now we should go through our spells. Oh, this one should be actually spell books. Uh, we are missing the spell books router, spell books. And here it should be spell books router. Yes, now it's good. So here we need spell books. And now we go through our spell books map. Each spell book we are going to use card and we need our key we're going to put our spellbook id as a key and why is it complaining now here it has an any type but it shouldn't oh because i placed i need data yeah like this now it's again complaining uh, possibly undefined just like this and nice so here in the title we are going to put spellbook title in the description. We are going to use the spellbook description. And what we have here, card content, we can remove the footer. We don't need a footer. And for the card content, uh, we'll see here, we're probably going to display the icons of each spell here on this part. We are going to display all spell books in a grid. So let's do grid calls four and some gap of five. So they're displayed properly. And now we need to add data or we can just go to the creation of spell books so we can create the data through the front end. So here I'm going to create another card, which is going to contain, let's just get from the hero icons, the plus, not document plus, but just a regular plus, this one, copy SVG, and there I'm going to put that SVG and this class should be class name and everything should be like this for react to recognize it and let me see if we have yep so we have the plus icon now now we can use the dialog that we brought in so i'm just going to copy here how it's used like this and card is basically going to be our trigger. Here it is, the trigger. So I'm going to call it here. And card is our button here. And let's again call each thing from our UI dialog. And this one. So now we should be able to, oh, this one should be dialog. Okay, let's see now if we are opening the dialog with this. Yes, we are. Okay, and now here we are going to put inputs for, we need for title, description, and the save button to create the new spell book. So let's create quickly here our states. So we need the title and set title and that one is going to be 
hook use state type of string and by default it's empty and also we need description and set description so we are going to use these two here in the dialog description if i'm correct or we can what is the header exactly header description okay and we can use it then here probably if we put here test yeah we can then here create so here we can put create your spell book for the title and here we can put something like create your collection of spells so now here we're going to put the inputs we need input from shadcn also let's install that one quickly okay input installed so here let's create some div with the class name of flex flex column gap of maybe three and first first thing is going to be the title and we are going to have description also in the same manner so here we need input that we just installed from shadcn our value is going to be title and on change we are going to use event and set title to event.target.value and same thing for the description and set description nice so now we need here actually to call our mutation so we can call it add spellbook and that one is going to be spellbooks create use mutation like this so now we can create the function um, let's call it add new spellbook can be an arrow function and here we are going going to call our mutate so add spellbook dot mutate and here so we can already see here what needs to be in so we need our title which is going to be title so we don't need it like this it's oh it's not going to interesting so we can put it like this and description description like this and this one is going to add new spellbook inside our database so now i can here put a button i can say save and on click i'm going to call add new spellbook so here we should also set title to empty string to reset everything and set description let's test it out so if we go here to our app and press add and i can add a book of fire and a collection of fire spells and save that one should be added but when we refresh yes there it is nice so we have our book of fire and the collection of fire spells and we can also check it if we go here to our spellbook and npx prisma studio we can go here and yeah so we can see it here inside our spellbook table great so we have our first spellbook we need to fix just a little bit these cards and add deletion we can add some x here on the top of the spellbook and that's it we can move to spells let's quickly fix this card so that's the inside the spellbook where we have our svg so 
instead we are going to put heal here as child so that card is actually the dialogue trigger and now yeah now it's the whole card and we can just add here flex then justify center and item center now it's on the middle here we can just make it a little bit bigger and also put it to some gray 400 or something like that yeah now it looks much better oh and we need the cursor pointer so we know it's clickable and nice oh we need the cursor pointer actually on the whole card here yeah now it's good it's working nice okay now let's make this spellbook clickable so when we click on this spellbook we are going to go to the spellbook slash id page from this spellbook so inside our app directory i'm going to create a new folder and call it spellbook oops with double o and inside i'm going to create a dynamic route so i'm going to use square brackets and call it spellbook also and inside page.tsx here i'm going to use react snippets again i'm going to call this one spellbook page and we need our parameters here so i'm going to call params it's going to be type of params and inside we have our spellbook from here from the dynamic route and that one is going to be type number and now we can test it out so here we can call params.spellbook and we can go to that page so here when we go to the localhost spellbook slash one or slash anything else we are getting that parameter from our dynamic route now we need to display all spells from this spellbook by this id here and we need also to add the add button and the delete button so we can show it in some kind of table like in the admin panel so first thing we need to do is to get all the spells from our database by this spellbook id to do that we need to create a new route inside our spellbooks so here we're going to get by id our spellbook and that one is also going to be a public procedure it's we need inputs there so we're going to receive the id so that is going to be a type number and then that one is also going to be a query query what am i doing wrong i didn't close the here query and there we can just copy everything from here like this so here we are going to return spellbook find first where so here we need also the opts and inputs from opts so there it's where id is our input.id and we also need our relations so include what's it called spells true so this one is going to return the spellbook and also all of our spells that are in that spellbook so now we can actually get our let me close all the other files this one is getting too big we can just call our spellbook by our id so trpc spellbooks 
get by ID and then use query and inside we have ID which is params dot spellbook and this one is getting our spellbook from our database with all the spells now we can take from here oh it's complaining something let me see what is happening use query again use client here now it should be good yes so here now we can take the table component yeah this one add that one to our project nice and we're going to use this to display our spells you can see how it looks it's a classic admin panel table so here i'm going to put the table and again call everything from the ui table sorry for taking this so long it cannot be faster i think <laughs> and table body as well and table cell nice let's see how it looks on our side that's it we can just put here that same like on the page what's this page like here these class names so it looks consistent yeah nice and now here we're going to put the spell title then spell description image and finally here we can put delete or yeah delete and we're going to put a button here for creation of new spell so if we go to our code and we check here so we're going to need this one i'm going to delete we need title we need description description image and here delete i'll delete this one so here for each row we need to put our spellbook data spells and then map through our spells and for each spell we are going to display a different table row and key is going to be our spell id so here i'll delete all these class names and stylings we can do that later so first thing is going to be spell title here it's going to be spell description here we are going to put image component from next and source is going to be spell image width we can put 50 for now and height also 50 and alt we can put um, we can just put spell title like this what is it complaining string or null okay so we can just put that's because our spell is actually optional so we can just put here if spell image exists then we just display the image then it, it is not going to complain that looks great here uh, we need a button so we use button from shad cn and we are just going to call it delete okay a list of your recent invoices where is that coming from here that is spells from the and now no we can just put from 
and now here we're going to put our spellbook title so this one is probably going to snap no but if we put this it's getting some errors i don't know what but bad request get by id okay let's see what is it complaining about so that's the invalid type zod is complaining for something let's see what's wrong it probably has something to do with the route so here get by id we need oh we actually don't have a wait so that's probably the main issue okay now at least no oh we have still the error but let's see here Oh, here I'm missing the title, the title, the data, and now possibly null or undefined. This one should help, and now it should work. Spells from still from nothing. So spell book should contain the data with the title and description. Let's see if we have some kind of. Oh, we have a bunch of errors here. Okay so what is it complaining about it's the expected number received string i think i know what is the problem it's probably because this one is a string here coming from the url but if we send here as a number then here it is spells from book of fire so now we have our data here and if we had some spells they would be displayed so now what is left is to create a button here to add new spells to this spellbook. So let's steal that dialogue again from our page. Here it is from spellbook component. So we need this whole thingy and we're going to put it here above this part and that one is just going to use the button instead of this card so here we're going to put button and we can call it add spell and we need again to inject all of these components that we need so there we are going to put same thing title that one is going to use input description we need that one and also a button for save so now we are going to steal spellbox states these and we are going to put it here and we just need to inject the use state and now it should look okay okay but it's something happened with it pushed everything down but it works okay so we have title and description and the save button so now we need to add the file upload also for spells and also to change this text create your spell add some powerful spell to your and then here we can also put our spellbook title spellbook dot data title like this what happened <laughs> like this so now it should be better yeah and now for this part to fix it it's probably this uh, we actually i think we don't need even all these flexes and the minimum height screen yeah now it looks nice so here we are adding a new spell let's add that file we are going to create a ref so i can do it here i'm going to call it file ref and it's going to use use ref hook by react and it's going to be null by default so now here i can create a new row where it is here 
I can create a new row, call it image, and I can remove these things. Type is going to be file, and ref is going to be equal to file ref. And it's okay, it's not complaining. It should be HTML input element. We can put that one to our types just to make sure that we are sending the right type. And now we can put the upload logic. For this one, I'm not going to write it from scratch. I always have my own API route inside the app directory that is working like, uh, like Node.js. So I'm going to just copy it from my other projects and here inside the API folder, I'm going to paste the file folder where we have our route, where it's just a simple upload for file into the public folder. And you can find this also, I'm going to put this whole repository on my GitHub. So you can pull this one and look whatever you need and just reuse it on your projects. So we are going to use this on our form. First, we need our mutation for the spell. So I'm going to call the add spell, which is trpc spells it's create and then it's use mutation. This is so cool that TRPC is calling everything. You don't even need to know anything yourself from the head. It's just giving you whatever you want and need, whatever you can basically. Now we can again just copy from our spellbook component. So we have our add new spellbook we are going to copy that one for add new spell. So that one is going to be add new spell. It's add spell, mutate. We are adding title and description. So here we also need our spellbook ID, which is going to be in this case, spellbook.data.id. That one is ID from, so if undefined, we need to make sure that this one is not undefined. So here, if not spellbook dot data dot ID, then just return. And this one is going to make sure that we have our spellbook ID and we are missing something more. So image is declared. Okay, we're going to just put empty string for our image for now. So this one should now actually work. Let's try it out. Just to add it on the button. I'm a little bit lost. The, all these things should be in different components. So we don't have like all the logic inside one file in, inside one page, but that's another topic. Added add new spell function here. So now let's try to create something new. So title can be a fireball and description can be a powerful ball of fire. And let's keep image for now. So we can just test. Okay, I added, but nothing is happening. Is it created? Let's see, payload. So we sent the description image spellbook ID and title so that one should work but why is it not displaying let's see what do we have in our data here so if i console log our spellbook dot data and we refresh we are getting no we are not getting the spells let's see what's wrong it's probably the same thing like before that we don't have our await. Is it create? Yes. So here we need a wait for our create. Now let's try it out. So now if we had a spell, 
we add test test save and we refresh yes now we have it nice okay so let's remove this console log where is it here and we need our delete function so we are going to create delete spell and for that one we are also going to need a mutation but let's call it delete spell and here instead of create it's going to be delete route and here we are actually going to call it in the same manner so delete spell oh i call it the same okay del spell like this del spell mutate and there we are sending the id which is in this case we are going to send it here so id is this one let's try it out so we have here our delete button and on click we're going to call delete spell with our spell dot id and this one should delete our spell let's try it out so delete it's not oh it actually didn't delete anything it must be the same thing await so delete await let's try now and now it's deleted but it's not asynchronous if you saw we need to add on settled event for that one so everything also on adding spells let's add that so here when we on our page with our mutations and everything here we add additional options and on settled we call our uh, what here it's spellbook in our case and we call refetch also we do the same thing why is it now complaining it probably needs to be like this a function yes and now we need the same thing for adding yeah let's now try to add new spell so now I'm going to refresh just in case so we add our fireball and we add a powerful ball of destruction and when we save it's automatically added and when we delete it's automatically deleted from our list so now everything works perfectly the last thing we need is that image so we are going to implement it into our add new spell so that one is going to be above the mutate so here we are going to create the form data which is going to be new form data like this now we are going to create our file which is going to be our file ref current and then files and then first element so now it's complaining yeah about the null part so we are going to put if this whole thing exists then we are going to do this whole thing and now we can actually upload our file through the route that i copied now i just append on the form data that file like this so file now i just created the request which is going to be method post and body is going to be my form data that i created and now I just shoot the API file where I send that request. And this one should upload the file to the public folder. And what's left is here for the image to put the actual file name. Let's test it out.
So now when I go here and I add the new spell, fireball again, a powerful ball of destruction. And I take a file, I'm going to take this file that I downloaded and save. And now fail to parse. Okay, I know what I did. It should be here like this. And now it should work. So let's delete or we can just go here in our Prisma Studio and in our spells here, I can just Rename it like this. Say one change. Okay, let's try now. There it is. Nice. We have our image inside our spell. So now we can actually, when I go here, we can put all the icons here, the spells inside our book. So how to do it is to go to the spell books route. So we are going to include spells also here like this and now when we have them there we can go to spellbook and here instead of writing just spells we can put spellbook dot spells map and then we take each spell and we display an image from next image and I can just copy it from here where it is image I'll just take the same thing and put inside the spell book so it's going to be spell image that one is correct so what is it complaining now it's the null okay we can put just empty string in case it doesn't exist and here here it's I think yeah it's one missing and now it's the key so we can put the key is spell ID and now it should be displayed yes so now we have here all the we can even put it to be a little bit smaller maybe to be like an icon or something like that yeah like this and then if we have like 15 spells it would be listed here for this spell book and the final touch just to create this link so we need a link to go to this actual so uh, here i'm going to use link by next and i'm going to move the key inside and put it after the card here so the Ref is going to go to slash spellbook slash and then that spellbook dot id and now when we are here and we click on our spellbook we come here we could add the back button also but let's not overkill it and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this one don't forget to subscribe, warriors. See you again.